Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kinter here and in today's video, I'm just gonna cut straight to the point. Now, in the past, I printed on aluminum via Costco metal prints. I've had prints done in professional iridescent ink and even and even this textured ink. Can you see that? Pretty cool. And of course, I have your regular prints that my wife loves to use for her scrapbooking. One of the things I haven't tried yet though is printing on glass. That's right, we're gonna try printing on glass today. Why glass? Well, why not? I mean, traditionally we place our photos behind glass already in these picture frames, but you know what? There must be something different about it and that's what I wanna check out. And thanks to this video's sponsor, Fracture, a printing company that actually specializes in glass printing, we'll be able to. Uh, more on them in a minute. First, I need to share some info on the photo I've chosen to print because what good is a photo without a good story behind it? So recently we took a family trip to Disneyland out in California, a place my wife and I have been to many times before. But this time it was special. It was our daughter's first time going and as an eight-year-old, you knew she already heard about it from her friends who previously went and was just dying to go. Disneyland! Knowing this, my wife and I really wanted to make it memorable. So we created a strategy to hit up just about every single ride we could in the two days we were there, and we knew we needed to keep our load light. Except, you know I had to have my camera. Anyways, during the whole trip, our daughter really wanted this bubble machine, and we told her no, because it was kind of large, and it'd be a burden to carry around all day. But in the late afternoon of the second day, after an exciting yet terrifying experience, on Space Mountain, we caved and we bought it for her. This photo is of her looking up at me while the bubbles were flying in my face as we were just hanging out on Main Street. It's not your typical Disneyland photo with the castle in the background or a group shot of fun characters, although I did, of course, shoot all of those photos. It's a photo that tells a story of, of magic and wonder that shows the true happiness that only a child at Disneyland could have. And how a dad felt a little bad convincing his daughter that Space Mountain wasn't scary and fast. Okay, well, now that we have our photo, I wanted to share how easy, well, hopefully easy, it is to upload and print your photo on Fracture's website. All right, let's get started. So, if you're looking for the website, it's actually FractureMe.com, not Fracture.com. So make sure you go to FractureMe.com if you wanna check out what I'm gonna show you here. But if you're kinda lazy, uh, we can go through it together. Let's see what they got. Looks like a holiday year-end sale, 20% off. Some of their prints, sweet. Let's see what else they got. They've got single prints, photo walls, gift cards, and ooh, I'm gonna to touch on this in a little bit. Original or matte glass right here. That's got me a little excited. And then they've also got this storyboard deal that they do. It says, this one was kind of neat. Um, what I like about this is it's a solid wood board that you can, you can mount to your wall. And 
I like that it's got these levels of angles, but also to allow you to kind of overlap your, your photos and allows you to just easily change them out when you want to change up which photos you have on display. And one of the other things that's pretty cool is they have photo walls, which, you know, if you've got that blank space on your wall that you're trying to fill with, you know, all your happy memories, you can have a layout pre, kind of predetermined, I guess. Here you go. They've got these interesting named layouts so that if you're looking for inspiration, yeah, check that out. They've got a bunch of different styles to go with, with different sizes and at different price points. So if you uh, are looking to do a photo wall, definitely check that out. But for now, there's one thing I'm really interested in and that is a single print. Well, let me correct myself. We're gonna do two prints and I'll tell you why. First, let's just go ahead and hit this get started button at the top right. So here we go. We're gonna do single print. And first things first, we'll need a photo, of course. Let's upload our photo. Bam, there's the one we are looking at. Hit open and look at, I don't have a super fast internet connection, but that was pretty dang fast. So, and, and here you go, you get to choose what size you want. Now, typically I always recommend print large if you can because that's how you really get to enjoy your photos. You get to see all the details. It's bigger than, you know, looking at it on your phone or even your computer screen. Just seeing it bigger really, it's really something to behold. You gotta see it in person if you haven't printed large. I've said this in previous YouTube videos about printing. You gotta try it at least once. In any case, for this one, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the classic. Let's go right in the middle. We're gonna go with the classic. It's about the best bang for your buck, I think, for the price, but mainly it's because I'm gonna print out two. So let's hit select here. And here we go, back to that matte glass thing that I was talking about earlier. I'm excited to try this out because I have prints that are glossy and large and any light source coming at it just creates this nasty glare that just ruins my photo if you look at it in the certain ways. So like for instance, my Costco prints, I have them on the wall in my, in my front living room and they're right by a window and right when you walk past them, all you see is the glare from the blinds. So I wanna try out this matte glass cause I am curious to see how much better it is. So we're gonna select the, the matte glass option. It's only 11 bucks more, not too much more to add. We're gonna hit continue to cart. Looks like it's the only option I have, so continue to cart. But what I wanna do is really compare the two for myself and, and for you guys. So how do we go back? Add another print, here we go. Add another print, same thing. Single print, upload photo, open. There it goes. And same thing, we're gonna classic, select, leave the matte glass box unchecked, continue to cart. And there we go, now we got two. Yep, one says matte right there. And that's the one that's a little bit more. And then, dude, check it out right now, 20% off. If you're, if you're looking for that special personal gift, then, you know, print out some photos, some memories. Let me not share my screen so that <laughs> you don't see my credit card info. And all right, that's it, order's in. I am super excited. I guess I'll see you when they get here. Oh yeah, you know what I got here already. The box has arrived from Fracture, as you can see. And I might have cheated just a little bit because the box was already kind of open. And I was a little bit nervous because they're glass prints and you're like, uh-oh, hopefully nothing happened. But thankfully, the prints are fine, which is impressive because they're packaged 
using only cardboard. So they don't use styrofoam or excessive plastic or anything. And that's awesome. Great for the environment and works because our prints didn't get broken. So let me put this box down. So this one right here, there's the first image. And this is the glossy print. And you might already see that glare coming off my key light that's on my right. Let me get you a little closer. And behind it is the matte print. Here we go. I'm gonna angle them both a little bit so you can kind of see how the lights that I have in here are treated. You can obviously tell which one is the matte print and which one is the glossy print. Now, before I go into any further details, I do wanna comment on this packaging. It, they kind of recess the prints into this cardboard so it is protected, quite easy to pull out. There's another look at the glossy print. And here's the back. They've got a nice, uh, it's like kind of like a styrofoam on there to protect the back of the glass. And over here is where that mounting point is to hang it on the wall. There's another one right over here. You just got to pluck out the cardboard or the foam. And they do include a little drywall screw right there for you. So that is, that is nice. Nice of them to include. Yeah, otherwise, both these prints look really nice. The glass is not too thick, which is nice because the thicker the glass, the heavier it will be if you're hanging it on your wall. And the quality looks pretty much how it looked when I edited it on my computer. That's very important to me to make sure that the colors look right, they look how I wanted it. I mean, I can see details in the image that I might not even have seen on the computer screen. I, I don't know if you noticed it before, but down here on the ground, that's, that's my backpack. It's just, I had to set it down because we were, like I said, we were taking a break and well, I didn't want to have it on my back all day. But yeah, that's where my camera gear was. So on my right, I've got the gloss. On my left, I have the matte and they, they both look really nice. It's really hard to choose one over the other it really does depend on the place that you're putting the photo. In my opinion, the gloss still looks fantastic. Even though it's a cheaper price, if you're not putting these in a place where there's glare or reflections that you're concerned with, the, the glossy prints have a much more contrasty and saturated look to them. That just comes with glossy prints. Like if you look at a monitor, like a MacBook that's got a a glossy finish, a glass glossy finish. The screen quality looks amazing. Uh, the colors look amazing, but you get glare. If you look at another type of monitor that's matte finish, like say a Dell monitor, it doesn't look quite as vibrant, but you don't get glare. So when you don't want those glares, you go with the matte finish and this matte finish, it looks just as good. It's just a little less uh, contrasted, but I think it still has almost as much saturation in the image. And now I don't have to worry about that glare when I walk past it, or I don't have to worry where the lights are placed or where I hang this because maybe I can't move the lights because they're built into the ceiling or whatever. The matte finish looks really nice. And it's kind of hard to describe because you look at it and you're like, that's glass. It's crazy because it's it looks like it could be a high quality paper print, but it's actually glass. And that means it's it's gonna last you a long time. It's gonna be easy to clean if you need like to dust it or anything. You're not worried about ruining a, a printed photo of any kind. And if it was a printed photo, it's not sitting in a frame behind glass. You're seeing it like directly. So I really like them. They're, they're not too heavy. They're not too thick. See, I don't think you could go wrong with either. I think I like the matte a little bit more though. That's just that's just my personal opinion. Needless to say, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with them enough that I secretly already printed more of the Disneyland shots. 
and even the storyboard itself. As a matter of fact, they're already here. And uh, as you can see, I went with the matte finish because glares. But yeah, I haven't even opened up the storyboard shelf, so let's do that real quick. Nice. I think I went with um, the dark wood. Definitely not the black one and not the white one. So it's the wood, wood one, but also comes with hardware. It's like some nice drywall anchors, including a little wooden, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I gotta look it up. It looks, oh, okay, I, I see it now, hold on. Let's just get this stuff out of the way. And it looks like this is a template for you for the shelf. So use that in combination with these parts and makes it pretty simple to line up where you want it. But yeah, here's the shelf itself. Pretty nice, solid piece of wood. And if this was on the wall, your pictures, well, let me take them out of the cardboard, basically would rest just like that. And you can choose which which level you want it on. So you can stack some and overlap them. That's, that's pretty nice. I like that. Gives me options. Maybe I can use my laptop to act as a wall. That works. What do you think? Not bad, right? Much kudos to the Fracture team for making such a great product. But remember that it's not just about the print. The images you take are timeless emotions that should make you smile. Just think about all those annual photo memories that pop up from years past and, and how you forgot about them. They deserve to be seen on more than just your tiny smartphone screen. In any case, if I convince you to print out your memories for yourself or as a gift, guess what? I got a coupon code just for you. Just head over to www.fractureme.com and get 15% off your order by using code GINTER15. Trust me, you'll be glad you did when they arrive because they are awesome. Alrighty, that's GINTER for now. I hope this video was informative and or entertaining. And if it was, do me a solid and hit that thumbs up button. Also, I love sharing all the things I'm excited about when it comes to photography and camera gear. So if that's something you're into, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, but yeah, that's the video, buy some prints, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. I gotta see if I can fit three of these on this shelf, because that would be cool. Maybe the big one in the center. See it layered like this. Who wants to see my backpack anyways? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, something like that maybe. I just gotta figure out what to do with the glossy print. Oh, you know what? Grandma would love that one as a Christmas present. Sweet. Already got that part done for Christmas shopping. <laughs>